The Campus Crowd Map is an online app to provide you information about how crowded it is on the campus and in the buildings in several parts of the buildings. The Campus Crowd Map should help you in two options. The first option, if you still have the choice to visit the building or not and you uh, see if it's crowded, you can make another choice. The second option is, if you have to be in a building, it provides you with active information on how crowded it is and if you should pay extra attention to the safety measures we have taken on the campus. But then you have to sign this contract first. How are we going to do that? Okay, hold on. I'll have to check the crowd map. I see our building is rather full. We can meet, but we have to be careful. Okay. Okay, then I'll see you in 15 minutes. Okay. If a special floor on the building is colored orange or red, please take this advice into account and keep our campus safe. I think maybe that would be best to maybe do it in person because I think like online with all the frameworks, it's kind of hard. Yeah. So I will just check the app uh, when there's a spot free on campus. Oh yeah, for sure. Can we can meet. Okay, nice. Can you check it? I just see that uh, Techno Hall is quite of crowded, but uh, Spiegel, it's not a lot of people there at the moment. So maybe we can meet there in 10 minutes. Okay, yes, Spiegel is great. Okay, perfect. See you then there. Bye. Bye. The Campus Crowd app is a web-based application where you can check for buildings and building sections per floor level what the occupancy is. So you can make an informed decision whether you want to go there or not during these corona times. It's green until 85% of the set capacity is reached, then from 85% to 100% it's orange, which means it's getting pretty crowded, but you're still not up to the, the maximum occupancy level. And from 100% and above, the color turns red. We use our wireless network and we collect information from how many people are connected per access point, which we can map to specific areas. So we have a good indication of how many people there are per building, per floor level, or up to a building level section. It will never be 100% accurate, but since most people here connect to the Edgerome network, which is based on a login with username and password, we can actually deduplicate when multiple devices are used by one person, we can track that back to a single login. Even when anonymizing the data, we don't know who that person is, but we do know that it's multiple devices for one person. So we just count one person in that case. Of course, we designed it specifically for our environment. For example, we based it on uh, the MazeMap platform, which we already use for indoor navigation. So for other universities who don't have MazeMap, they should either get MazeMap or change some details in the application and use a different mapping system. But of course, we can share the code and assist other universities in making their choices on how to adapt it. So stay safe, work from home, and if you have to be on campus, please check the Campus Crowd Map before you go.